If you're new to Godot and GDScript, this might help you out. Here's an intro to what arrays are and how to use them. What's up everybody, welcome to MyPixel. As always, it's awesome to have you here. Today, we're looking at arrays. An array is a variable that can store multiple values. Arrays are helpful because they let us store many different values and access them all by a single variable name. Let's make an array. Here we have an array named fruits with three elements. The square brackets are used to define our variable as an array and to hold our array elements. These elements are all of the string data type, but arrays can hold many other data types too. Now that we have our array, let's access some of its individual elements. Here, we're just setting the text of our text box to be the elements of the fruits array at index zero. Elements in an array are all given an index number which determines their order. The first element in an array is at index number zero. The second element is at index one. The third element is at index two, and so on. It might be a little confusing at first, but don't worry, you'll get used to it. With that understanding of index numbers, we can see that index number zero should put the string apple in our text box. So let's check. As expected, we see the word apple. Great. Let's quickly try the same thing with a different element. With this, we should see orange as our text. And that's what we see. Perfect. We are able to access an individual element in the array to read its value, but we can set its value too. We reference the array element the same way as before, which is by using the array name and an index number enclosed in square brackets. Then we simply set that equal to a value, just like we would for a normal variable. Let's set our text to be our element at index 0 again, and then see what we have. Now, instead of the word apple, we see the word pear. Easy. Next, we'll try putting another element into our array. Here we use the append method, which will add the value within the parentheses to the end of the array. Since that new value should be at the end of the array, it should have an index number of 3 since we now have 4 elements. Let's set our text to be our element at index 3 and check our work by running our game again. And there we see our new array element, Strawberry. How about we pretend that our array is a bag of items in our game? Maybe we'd like to know how many items we're holding because we have a maximum that we can hold or something like that. In this type of situation, we need to know how many elements are in the array, which we can do with a size method. Again, we're just using our text box to display our results. For the purpose of this lesson, you can ignore everything else except for this. This here just runs the size method on our fruits array and will return an integer equal to the number of elements in our array. So you can see the size method returned an integer of 4, which we then just inserted into our sentence. Arrays have many uses and are easy to use once you get the hang of them. Just remember to always start from 0 when counting the index numbers. If you liked today's video, don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on future videos. The sprites, source code, and everything else that I've used in this tutorial today is available for download on my Patreon page. So if you want to check that out and also support the channel, the link will be in the description. Thanks to everyone for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.